What's up, dude? Do this. This is Frogger Two K Nine, and today I'm bringing you a flawless gameplay. Now, this commentary is not about the gameplay; it's about ants. One of the most annoying things you'll find in a picnic. Well, first of all, one question I've had was, where have ants come from? Where did they come from? What what did ants used to be? Because humans obviously used to be monkeys at some point in time, and uh, we grew up into what we are today. So where did ants come from? Well, I found out something very, very interesting about ants, and that's the fact that they derived from wasps. So those other irritating, very aggressive bugs are, uh, yeah, they, uh, they're, they're ants in the future. Their, their future is ants. <laughs> um, so that's, that's just making me think, you know, if if that's what wasps have become ants and uh, in in that transformation they've taken over many traits such as a stinger many many ants or species of ants do have stings and they've they've taken over their uh, their collective thoughts the uh, the work as a or certain species of uh, wasps do still carry over the bees type of thinking which is work for the state work for everyone else you don't you're not alone and you're never going to be alone as long as you stick with your collective mind then you'll always have someone to back you up that's that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the way it works you know it's it's communism and you don't work for yourself you're always working for everybody else you never you know you're bringing food back not for you but for everyone you know it's it's communism and it's a communism that works because there's no monetary system for one and there is so many but they can survive on so little you know um, even though ants can consume huge huge amounts of food just means they can survive longer you know it doesn't mean that you know if, if a human consumes a lot of food generally all that energy just gets wasted with ants a lot of the time that energy will just be retained to be used slowly but most of the time they won't be getting energy for themselves they'll be pushing it out for others you know it's work for the state so this made me think if ants can do it then why can't humans if an ant can go ahead and survive in a communist environment which is proven throughout history not to work then how comes ants make it work and that's the reason they're not human there is no one in their system that is working for themselves there is no one in their system that's pushing for themselves to gain more power their system is everyone works for everyone else for the good of the colony that is it that is the simple reason it works is because there's no greed there's no fear you know it's fear is one of humanity's biggest problems and she just don't have it they they will protect the colony with their life no matter what you know you'll find many humans even soldiers even certain some soldiers, not certain, some soldiers, you know, they still have fear. But ants don't have that. They're too simple for that. Or they're not simple, they're they're less complex, certainly, but they are more complex in other areas. It's you know, the human mind is built up to uh to a certain point, but we still have certain features that hold us back, and that is fear, greed, you know. There are many things that we take for granted, and ants don't do that. They don't take the colony for granted. They they will give up their life. They they know every second of every day. If they don't do everything they do for the good of the colony, they will lose the colony. And that's the reason that communism does work. But it will never work for humanity unless we can get rid of our traits that are not very good are traits that are holding us back if we can get rid of those then communism would probably work but I don't think we can I don't think we could ever do it it's it's impossible so yeah there it is 
But ants are are fascinating creatures. They uh, they can do something many insects can't. They stand upside down on glass. Glass is a very very smooth surface, as you should know. And many creatures will find it difficult to grab hold and stay hold of glass, especially when it's upside down. Ants don't have that problem. Also, they uh, they put them on glass and uh, spun them in a centrifuge just to see how long they could stay on. And it wasn't until they got to like eight times normal gravity that the ants were <laughs> were ripped off. You know, it's eight times normal gravity. There is humans. You know, we we find that difficult. I don't think we could survive in eight times gravity for that long. That would be a, like I think it's g-force. It's a g-force of eight and. Uh, that's that's pretty big. That is damn big. I definitely think humans would die rather fast in a, in an eight times gravity situation. Um, so technically, they could survive on a slightly bigger planet if they wanted to, whereas humans couldn't. Like humans could never survive on Jupiter for a reason, because they're cr well, for one, it's gas. So there's uh, there's no way you could survive on it. But say it was livable, technically then we still couldn't survive on there because the planet would be too big. The gravity would be way too much. So it's just something to think about. Ants are better, they're stronger, they're faster, they are smarter than you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Just something to think about. Happy days, guys. Happy days.